Hello, people of the internet. Let me tell you all a story. About a mouse named <clears throat> if me and my editor's cap will let me. The other day, I was sitting at work. I reach into my pocket and I realize I don't have my wallet with me. It made me really upset because obviously I keep my license in my wallet. And the day before that, I was riding around through town and I've seen a lot of police activity, like much more than what I'm used to. So me and my paranoid state thinking, well, you know, the cops must be out here after me. And this led me on a complete paranoia trip where I basically spent about 20 minutes scrubbing the entirety of Google Maps to try and figure out an alternative route to get home combined a little bit of street view with the knowledge that I had from playing Ingress, tried to determine from the local portal network whether there was actually thoroughfare on the route, and because I was unsure, I didn't actually want to take it because I had the previous video that I needed to edit and get out, and so I didn't actually have time to go exploring. But I published that video today, so I got myself a tiny little bit of time on my hands. So I figured if there's any excuse to record a video to make content for you guys, today's probably a good idea to do so. After all, one of the reasons why I love riding motorcycles so much is the ability it gives me to explore new places. I'm almost broken hearted at the number of trees that have been cut down on this road. There were massively tall pine trees over there that have all just been completely cut down. So sad, man. I'm a hardcore tree hugger. Even though I ride a gas guzzler of a motorcycle, I'm still a tree hugger. I love trees, I love nature. I coexist with it. So anyway, I'm out on the bike today and I thought we would go explore some of these new roads. So if you have a look on Google Maps here along the R44, you'll see there's this weird little outcrop to the east, which is known as Stellenrust Road or the Stellenrust Loop or whatever. And this is like a, a nice little stretch of road that's nice to take, there's low traffic volume and some beautifully scenic farmland all around. I like to come out here and just see what it's like every once in a while. I actually just rode past the damn portal that I wanted to capture. Oh well! And so I'm out here riding this little route. I know that this bypasses a large stretch of the main road. Oh, I just want to take the path less traveled, you know? But what really got my attention is this little stretch of road here from Boyberga, which is this really cool strawberry farm where you could actually go and take your family out to go and pick strawberries. It's actually one hell of an experience. Great fun for the kids, I must recommend. And their food is actually quite delicious. So that's definitely a, a, a recommend to anybody that's out here. You definitely got to go and check out Boyberga. Get lost, guinea fowl! So I wanted to go and explore this piece of road and I did a little bit of uh, street view to a point where the street view car stopped recording street view. Street view car doesn't really go off road on dirt. And I figured it looks like it's clear in the satellite view so I'd like to go explore it. And that's kind of what I'm showing you guys today. So yeah, we're just going to go explore this little piece of road. I have no idea what to expect, no idea what we're going to see here. I know we're going to face some dirt road. <laughs> There's a couple of portals along the way, so of course, I'm going to stop, play a, a tiny little handful of ingress, but I'm going to cut all that garbage out because y'all don't want to see it. But I do have some ingress related content on the channel, which you guys can check out in these videos if you'd like. Okay. Let us proceed. As you can see, this is pretty much like the wine farm of Stellenbosch. I mean, nothing but grape vines on my left and grape vines on my right. And it's actually not a bad piece of road. I can't believe I've never been up here. I know at some point we're going to come to the end of this road and it's going to join up with Helderberg Road. I mean, we just followed. I have no idea. I'm not even running GPS or navigation on this, so. I'm going by complete faith memory, which is not necessarily a good thing. <laughs> what is this? That might have been it. Oh. Yeah. We'll just follow the road less traveled, I guess. Oh, I missed it. I did miss it. Okay. Well, that's okay. This is the end of the road. 
and you will get here eventually. Here is where I wanted to go. And then we go here, Hidden Valley Wines. There was a speed up there. Oh, let's just go take a look. I think it's the wrong road, but there were portals out this way, so we can always just take a squeeze, go cap the portals if we can gain access, and then carry on with our exploration. Yeah, I won't enter private property unless it's open. Or if there's a restaurant. Let's see. Wine cellar, deliveries, coaches by appointment only. We're not going there. Oh, winery and grill. Lunch, dinner, Wednesday to Saturday wine tasting. Oh, I think we can be in range. Yeah, we're in range. Just. Oh. And like, we're drifting, yeah, we're in. <laughs> well, it's a very fine line. That moved us further away. Go on that. That's better. Do we see what else is down this road? Let's do it. See what else is here. And I also need to figure out where I missed the turn. Quite far back, actually. Cool. So this is closed. Everything's closed. Let's see what other portals there are. It's actually really beautiful, actually. I mean, little dams and stuff. Nah, I don't see anything else up ahead. It's all good. So, we head back. Look how pretty it is, man. That's I can understand why it's called Hidden Valley Wines. I mean, you don't even know it exists if you're riding along the main road. Quite literally is a hidden valley. Man alive. Yeah, the turn was over here. Here starts the dirt path, my friends. Woo! Street tires on the dirt, let's do this. <laughs> oh. That's gated. There's a gate. Oh, and it's spraying me. Lovely. Oh, man. Well, that's disappointing. Because I was pretty sure that I could get through. 
but we will check Google Maps because it looks like the main road runs up that way actually. Oh, oh, that's a pity. It's quite disappointing actually. Oh well, not here. Some farmer is going to be pissed off because there's some dude on a bike riding through his land. Okay, okay. So far, so good. I mean, we got this far, right? Yeah, this is some uh, extreme off-roading for a street bike, my friends. <laughs> but I'm having an adventure. Okay, okay, well, we've got in this far. Unlock my device here quickly. Wish Google Maps wouldn't sleep in satellite mode, man. I think I can get onto the main road by following this one. And if I can, then we're golden. Let's hope, right? I think we can turn right up here. There is a road, yes, there is a road, haha! <laughs> yes, yes we can. Oh, there's a gate. There's a gate blocking me from getting onto the main road. Hmm. See if I can just walk it out of here.
I'm the problem. There we go. There we got it. We got it. Okay, I need to check where we are. Well, that was fun. I mean, we know there's no repair from this way, that, that side. Let's go. I apologize, Mr. Farmer. I'd gone all the way on your property. Didn't want to turn back after I'd come this far. Maybe not do that again. Would be a good idea. <laughs> it was this time of year now where the days are starting to get a lot shorter. I'm starting to see sunrises when I leave the house. And in about two months time, I'm not even going to see the sunrise because I'll be at work by the time it starts. Ugh. Why did I pick this road? Oh, yes. I picked this road because I wanted to share something spooky with y'all. I discovered a little something whilst I was doing my um, searches on Google Maps. I saw this weird little image icon that said Spook Hill. I was like, well, what, what in the world is Spook Hill? I mean, this sounds eerie, right? So I did a little bit of research. I did a little bit of research. And I discovered that Spook Hill is actually a optical illusion. It's a little phenomenon that occurs when you're riding on a stretch of road or driving for cages. And it appears as if the incline of that stretch of road is in one direction, when in reality it's not. So you come out there, you can stop the vehicle in the middle of this place spook hill and the vehicle moves counterintuitive to what you would expect it to so i thought i would come and give it a try out because i'm skeptical and i suspect that on a motorcycle you won't feel it as much but let's see I love my motorbike, and I love making my motorbike sounds, and it's weird, and it's okay. I don't care what you say. Be done. Oh, look at that incline, though. <laughs> that's definitely an uphill. No debate about that one, but that's not spooky. So don't worry about it. I'm gonna go up there, for the sake of it. For the sake of going up private property, no unauthorized entry. Okay, well I'm turning around. I apologize. This is a fast long driveway, what did you expect me to do, bros? Ooh, this is cool. They actually paved the stop sign. That's cool. I ain't seen that shit. Wish I could nominate that as a portal. We Just look at this view. Look at that. Ooh. Someone's building a house there and it is gonna be gorgeous. Look at that. Also another steep road. What what goes there? Oh, it's the short road. Nothing to explore there. Oh. Hey, I can breathe again. It gets so hot in this thing, man. Holy crap. Even with the vents open, it's like stuffy. There's a car up there. In a dirt road. And curiosity is gonna take over. Let's go. After all, this is an explore. What is on the dirt road? Do not spin, do not spin, do not spin.
Yeah, nope, nope. Your better senses is telling you no. Whew. My front tire is sliding. This would be better if I had dirt tires, which is probably what I should be doing. Oof, okay, let's just go against everything your intuition is telling you and go down the hill. There we go. No exploring the dirt road today. Yes, I'm listening to you, beastie. Look at this. Look at that view. Oh, just take a minute. Take it all in. Whee. Okay, on to Spook Hill. I think I've drawn you guys out for long enough. Man, just look how tall these trees are. Hey? Wow! For how many years and years and years did those trees have to grow there for them to reach such astounding heights? Actually, I think this is it. I think this is the Spook Hill. I think this is the section of Spook Hill. Let's go check the Google Maps. Just stop in the middle of a quiet road. It's okay. It's like... A few meters down the road. Apparently. There's not quite... Oh, they said if you go north... It's more emphasized. So let's do exactly that. Because, I mean, this is clearly a downhill, right? So we're going to do a UE? A UE U? A UE U? Ah, we're going to go up. Oh, I see it. See how it looks like a crest? I and mean, then you get over the crest, but it's not truly a downhill. Yes, here it is. See, it looks like a downhill. And then you roll off it. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, that is trippy. It, okay, yes. I'm in agreement. Okay. This is kind of cool. So I'm standing dead still. It looks, it feels like it should be a downhill. There is a car approaching. It's just gonna move over. Oh. Yeah, I think I've crossed the peak. No, I'm going back. That is kinda cool. I'm sure it feels pretty anticlimactic to you guys watching this. But I mean, yeah. This kinda looks like a downhill. And I'm rolling back. It's very unpronounced on a motorcycle though. Okay, well this was Spook Hill. So that was something cool to discover in Somerset West. I had no idea that it even existed. That's pretty epic that. I've actually ridden on this stretch of road before. I just didn't know it was a, a thing to stop and experience it. But hey. That's pretty cool. Hey, look at that. No hands on a downhill with an approaching car. Matthew, you got ball. Ah, I just know the limits of my motorcycle, yo. Speed on. Now, which way do we turn? I think we can turn left here. But we could also go straight. I think we're gonna go straight. I don't know. I'm just doing my thing, yo. Enjoying the ride. I love riding motorcycle. I love exploring the world around me. I love to play Ingress while doing it. <laughs> you know, it would be really helpful, like, if you guys go and check out my Patreon, you guys can become a patron, and you guys can help me out, man. Help me keep making some 
good quality content. I'm sure those of you that have been following me over the past month have noticed a dramatic improvement in the quality of my content from editing to me doing all sorts of special stuff to sort of having some kind of structure in my videos. Uh, so yeah, if you guys wouldn't mind doing that, there is a link in the description. And all that does is keeps me out on the bike, riding around, talking a load of nonsense to all of you, but more importantly, hanging out with you. For me, the most fulfilling part of it is hanging out with you guys, getting your guys' weekly comments. With that, I actually want to question you, I want to pose the question, considering I went out and did all this mumbo-jumbo explorey stuff on the dirt with my street tires. What is the craziest circumstance you've put in your motorcycle into that it was definitely not built to endure? Whilst I'm riding past it, man, I'm seeing the Playhouse Theatre. They actually have a whole bunch of uh, plays that they put on throughout the year that they normally sell tickets through, like CompuTicket and stuff, and I believe that they've got uh, Grease on sometime in March. They're actually a really talented production. I personally have gone to two of their productions since being here in Cape Town, and I must say, it has been great value for money. More importantly, like entertaining beyond belief, like holy hell it was fun there is there is no way to describe how good it felt going through to the theater and just watching people making some good entertaining acting content stuff it was fun it was exciting i 100 percent recommend so that's the playhouse theater you guys can go and check them out there is a link in the description the reason why you're driving over the line bro Get away from you as fast as I can. Oh, look at my hair my shadow there. Oh, how glorious. I tell you what, that is the most freeing thing for me about riding a motorcycle is when I get to let my hair down and just let it like roll in the wind. Like, this is the facial expression. I love it. Oh, look at that ocean view. I want to thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. You guys gave up your time to watch me being me. And that's pretty epic of you. If you guys have watched it this far, man, please give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it if you guys do. It goes a long way. It helps YouTube recommend my videos to more and more people like you. If you guys want to support this channel so that I can keep bringing some pretty cool content to you, content that I think is pretty cool, why don't you go check out my Patreon or PayPal links in the description below. Love everything you guys do, thank you for watching, whatever life is throwing at you, just remember, don't look down, look ahead. Until next time, ride safe.